Hi there, and welcome back to Sot and Brain Hub. My name is Calvin, and today we'll be talking all about migraines. A migraine is a headache that can cause a severe throbbing pain or a pulsing sensation, which usually occurs on one side of the head only. Migraine attacks can last for hours to days, and the pain can be so severe that it interferes with daily activity. Migraines are common, affecting around 1 in every 5 women and around 1 in every 15 men. The exact cause is unknown, although they're thought to be the result of temporary changes in the chemicals, nerves and blood vessels in the brain. Around half of all people who experience migraines also have a close relative with the condition, suggesting that genes may also play a role. Some people find migraine attacks are associated with certain triggers, which can include stress or even certain foods. Some people have migraines frequently up to several times a week, whereas other people only have a migraine occasionally. There are three different types of migraine. Firstly, migraine with aura, where there are specific warning signs just before the migraine begins, such as seeing flashing lights. Secondly, migraine without aura, the most common type, where the migraine happens without the specific warning signs. And finally, migraine aura without headache, also known as silent migraine, where an aura or other migraine symptoms are experienced, but a headache does not develop. Let's now have a more detailed chat about some of the symptoms of migraine. Firstly, it's important to note that changes in mood and appetite can occur several hours or days before an attack. This is termed the prodrome. Then, when the migraine starts, the main symptom is usually an intense headache on one side of the head. The pain is usually a moderate or severe throbbing sensation that gets worse when a person moves and prevents them from carrying out normal activities. It's often accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and extreme sensitivity to light, also known as photophobia, and sensitivity to sound, also known as phonophobia. These symptoms can last between 4 and 72 hours. As we saw when talking about types of migraine, about 1 in 3 people have specific temporary warning signs, known as aura, before its onset. The symptoms of aura include visual problems, such as seeing flashing lights, zigzag patterns, or blind spots, numbness, or a tingling sensation like pins and needles, which usually starts in one hand and moves up the arm before affecting the face, lips, and tongue, feeling dizzy or off balance, having difficulty speaking, or loss of consciousness, although this is unusual. Aura symptoms typically develop over the course of about five minutes and last for up to an hour. Unfortunately, there is no definitive cure for a migraine, but a number of treatments are available to help reduce the symptoms. These include painkillers like paracetamol and ibuprofen. Additionally, medicines called triptans can help to reverse the changes in the brain that may cause migraines. Sometimes, medicines called antiemetics are often used to help relieve people who are feeling nauseous or who are being sick. Now that we know more about the causes, symptoms and treatment of migraine, we can form a timeline of the stages of migraine that occur to help tie everything together. Firstly, we have the prodromal, or pre-headache stage, where changes in mood, energy levels, behaviour and appetite can occur several hours or days before an attack. Secondly, around a third of people will experience aura. This is usually visual problems such as flashes of light or blind spots, which can last for 5 minutes to an hour. Thirdly, we reach the headache stage, usually a pulsating or throbbing pain on one side of the head, often accompanied by feeling sick, vomiting, or extreme sensitivity to bright light and loud sounds, which can last for 4 to 72 hours. And finally, the resolution or post-drone stage, 
when the headache and other symptoms gradually fade away, although the person may feel tired for a few days afterwards. I hope that with this video, this topic will stop being such a headache to learn. Hopefully now you have a much better idea of the causes, symptoms, stages and treatment of migraine. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and others related to the anatomy of the head and neck and the brain. Find us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.